The last total solar eclipse over Dallas hasn't happened in almost 150 years. The next solar eclipse over Dallas won't happen again for another how many years? It's, it's almost 300 almost years. Almost 300 yeah, years. Yeah. So this is pretty darn rare. Yeah, and it's interesting what can happen if the conditions are right uh, from, a, from a weather standpoint. Right. Now, if the conditions are right. So let me show you this. Here we go. Uh, so the time in totality. So we all know it's Monday, April 8th. So here we go. Check this out. So there's the totality, that's the path. Okay, now let me zoom in here. Then you can see for yourself, uh, you know, we're gonna have the total eclipse right on this line, the partials outside of the line. Then I've put these times, so if it runs very near Waxahachie over Ennis, just to the east of Terrell, just to the east of Sulphur Springs, that's right on the path, so you'll be over four minutes. You get outside of the path, you're three to four minutes here, two to three minutes here, and one to two minutes there. You can see East Texas as well. And we have all this on, on uh, uh, on the, the social medias, you can check them out there. Totality 140 to 144. So that's the time on April 8th, okay, next week. So what will it do with the weather? Well, there's certainly an eclipse temperature change. I mean, it just makes sense, right? Uh, you know, we're gonna have, the sun's gonna be blocked. I mean, you know what happens then, things cool down. But depending on the weather at the time of the eclipse, that will determine, you know, exactly what will occur. The biggest drop would occur with clear skies, low humidity, and light winds, okay? It, it, if that happens, the clear skies, the, the light winds, and also the low humidity, the, the temperature drop could be up to eight degrees. That's pretty significant, you know, in a matter of just a couple of minutes. If it's cloudy, though, and windy and humid, the drop's going to be fairly insignificant, maybe, maybe only one degree. So this is because of the clouds. The clouds, we talk about this all the time in the wintertime. The clouds act as a blanket and they keep the heat from escaping into space. So what's my forecast for Monday, April 8th? 12 to 23, the partial eclipse begins, 68 degrees. I have a lot of clouds, mostly cloudy skies. I'm hoping this system that's moving in our direction, I hope that it speeds up, it slows down, it falls apart, it takes a different path. The total eclipse time, 142. This is at DFW for the, it's kind of our center spot. A lot of clouds, 71 degrees, the temperature, the partial eclipse ends, 302. The clouds are still around, of course, 74. So you can see the temperature goes, uh, goes up just a tad, and uh, we do have a chance of rain that day. So once again, hopefully this weather pattern shifts just a bit. But when you're looking at the first week of April, historically, it's one of our wettest months of the year. If it's a wet month, Got to have a lot of clouds, and that's what's in the forecast on Monday. Once again, we hope that it changes. Our fingers are crossed. We have clear skies out there right now as we head through the overnight. Skies will start to uh, cloud up a little bit. These are high, thin clouds by sunrise tomorrow. Some passing high, thin clouds throughout the day. Filtered sunshine as we head through the day on Friday. Also, as we head through the day, 7 in the morning on Saturday. Filtered sunshine throughout the day. Partly sunny Friday, partly sunny Saturday. Fairly cloudy as we head through uh, Sunday. So there's the partly sunny skies. There's the mostly cloudy skies. We go from the 70s Friday into the 80s on Saturday, Friday, and also on Saturday. Uh, or Saturday also on Sunday. Easter Sunday, my Easter Sunday forecast. Sunrise for all the Easter sunrise uh, uh, services. 7.15 in the morning, 64 in the morning, 76 at noon, uh, 82 by 5 p.m. Here's a story on Monday. I have a chance of severe weather in my forecast on Monday. It's Monday late in the day into Monday night. We have some showers and thunderstorms that roll in, and right now the chance of severe weather during that time, it's a two on a scale of one to five. It's a slight risk. It would be wind, it would be hail, and also the threat of tornadoes. Tonight, 55, not a big tornado outbreak right now, but certainly isolated tornadoes. 55, dry, cool, and breezy tonight. Tomorrow it's a dry, warmer, windy day. We hit 77 tomorrow. There's the next 14 days. Uh, it's a warm, windy Easter weekend. There's the rain on Monday, especially Monday night and Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday are dry, and then we have another chance of rain Sunday on Eclipse Day, Monday, April 8th. 